In the previous video, we talked to you about a series of stories about the development of various Chinese warplanes, such as the J-20, J-16, J-11B and so on. Today we talk about the J-15 series of fighter aircraft of the PLA Navy. The J-15 series belongs to heavy fighters, and under normal circumstances, it has very obvious advantages in terms of mounting capacity, combat radius, and so on. However, due to the use of skidding takeoff mode, the J-15's mounting capacity has been greatly reduced. Today we will talk about this issue. First of all, let's talk about the takeoff and landing mode of shipborne fighters. At present, the aircraft carriers of the U.S. and French navies use catapults, and the carrier aircraft can take off by catapult. After the catapult takeoff, the comprehensive mounting capacity and combat radius can be guaranteed. The carriers of other countries have basically adopted the skidding deck, such as India's Vikrant, Britain's Queen class, etc., and the carrier aircraft need to rely on the warping deck skidding takeoff. Although there is no problem in taking off and landing the carrier aircraft, but it will be limited by various aspects, which is a difficult problem that all countries will face. The inability of a carrier aircraft to take off with a large fuel load and a large mounting pattern greatly limits the overall performance of the aircraft. If you need a longer range, you cannot mount too many missiles. If a sufficient number of missiles are mounted, the combat range will be greatly reduced. The skidding takeoff of the warplane regardless of which country no matter what type of warplane is faced with this hurdle. The Chinese Navy's Liaoning and Shandong aircraft carriers have adopted the skidding deck and the J-15 fighter jet will also face the above problems if it needs to skid and take off. China has not announced the parameters of the J-15 fighter jet, but we can refer to the Russian Su-33 carrier aircraft. After all, J-15 and Su-33 belong to the same development source. In all aspects of the parameters and indicators, there will not be too much difference. Su-33 shipborne fighter, empty weight 19.6 tons, maximum fuel capacity 9.5 tons, maximum mounted 6.5 tons, maximum takeoff weight is 33 tons and maximum range is 3,500 kilometers. On paper, the Su-33 has a very good load capacity and operational range. However, Due to the use of skidding takeoff mode, resulting in the actual load, the actual fuel capacity greatly reduced. According to foreign media calculations, the Su-33 fighter jet if to ensure 1,000 km of combat radius of the in-flight fuel, then the mounting capacity is about only a little more than 4 tons. If hung full of ground and sea strike munitions, then the combat radius will be significantly compressed, about only 700 km or so. This is the difficulty of using ski jump takeoff for fighter planes, and the Soviet Union found this problem back then. That's why the Alyanovsk, the last carrier developed by the Soviet Union, was built with a steam catapult configuration in the hopes of improving the overall combat capability of the Su-33 fighter. China's J-15 and Su-33 belong to the same source of development. There shouldn't be much difference in fighter parameters and indicators, of course. The J-15 fighter uses part of the composite materials, plus further weight reduction of the domestic avionics system. It is expected that the J-15's mounting capacity will be improved compared with that of the Su-33, for example, 7 tons or more than 7 tons. However, the problems of Su-33's skidding takeoff can't be avoided by J-15's. Of course, due to the further weight reduction of J-15's avionics system, the J-15 will be able to carry more weight. Of course, due to the J-15, as further weight reduction mounting capacity is expected to be able to improve some. According to the projection of foreign media, J-15 fighter jet if ensure 1,000 km combat radius and flight fuel, then the mounting capacity is no more than 5 tons. 5 tons is about what concept? China's PL-12 series of medium-range ammunition weighs 180 kg and the PL-8 series of fighting ammunition weighs 120 kilograms. The J-15 fighter, mounting 6 PL-12S and 4 PL-8S at the same time, will have no problem performing air-to-air -air combat. It can also ensure a combat radius of more than 1,000 kilometers. China's air-to-ground 88 series of ground-to-ground -ground missiles weighs more than 600 kilograms. Eagle 83 anti-ship missiles also weigh more than 600 kilograms. If the J-15 fighter jet simultaneously mounted four Eagle 83, or air-to-ground 88, to carry out the mission of striking the ground and the sea, it can also mount two medium and two close air-to-air -air bombs at the same time, 
and there is not much problem to carry out self-defense air combat, but if you mount more than one ton of Eagle 12 or other heavy missiles, it is a bit difficult for the J-15. It is also able to mount, but the combat radius will be greatly reduced. All in all, the J-15, a skidding takeoff mode, can meet the basic mission needs of the PLA Navy. However, it also faces some constraints which are caused by the system of carrier aircraft slip and fly. Of course, J-15 also has obvious shortcomings. The J-15 is further developed on the basis of the Su-33 prototype T-10K-3 and the J-11B. In the process of development, due to the tight cycle basically adopted all aspects of the J-11B technology, such as the 1,493 plate slit radar, integrated avionics system and so on, broadly speaking it belongs to the middle level of the fourth generation fighter, due to the Russian Su-33, Indian MiG-29K and other models. Compared with the American F-18E, F-Block 3, French Rafale MF-3, etc. there is indeed a significant technology gap. After all, the aforementioned fighters largely belong to the level of fourth and a half generation fighters. Given the shortcomings of the Liaoning and Shandong J-15 fighters, China has adopted a two-legged strategy. On the one hand, it has developed the significant and pioneering Fujian carrier, which, unlike the previous Liaoning and Shandong ships, has increased its tonnage to more than 80,000 tons, adopts an all-access large deck design, and is equipped with three electromagnetic catapults, Fujian ship on the various carrier aircraft, basically able to realize the state of full fuel and ammunition takeoff. Whether it is combat radius or comprehensive, mounting capacity, the improvement is very obvious. In view of the shortcomings of the j 15 as own performance, China has made comprehensive improvements and adjustments on the basis of the J-15. For example, the use of composite materials, the adjustment of wind mounting points, the use of active phased array radar and turbofan 10C engines, etc. In November 2024, the Chinese Navy's J-15T fighter jet and J-15D electronic fighter jet were publicly unveiled. The J-15T has reached the standard of a fourth and a half generation fighter in every aspect. It belongs to the same echelon as the American F-1AE, F-Block 3 and the French Rafale MF-3. It has certain advantages in many aspects, such as detection range, mounting capacity, combat radius and so on. As for the J-15D electronic warfare aircraft belongs to the shipboard electronic warfare aircraft, the comprehensive standard of the United States development of the EA-18G electronic warfare aircraft. According to the analysis of some foreign media, the comprehensive configuration and performance of J-15T has obviously surpassed that of J-16, and it is very likely to become the newest, strongest sidekick. Taking J-15T as an example, foreign media generally believe that the maximum mounting capacity of J-15T has been increased to more than 8 tons at least. Combined with the advantage of electromagnetic catapult takeoff, it can mount all kinds of ammunition and missiles, and it can ensure the advantage of large range. Many combat modes and combat concepts can't be implemented on Liaoning and Shandong ships, in the Fujian ship and after the various types of aircraft carriers without any problem. In short, after adopting the electromagnetic catapult, different models such as J-15T, J-15D, J-35, Air Marshal 600, Coach 10 and so on have realized the large fuel loading and large loading mode takeoff. Together with the performance enhancement of various models, the combat efficiency is maximized.